can as you go. Uh, we do the same warm up every Thursday, so if you don't get it today, you get a little bit next week and the other week. Um, so we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like the head down pass. This is probably the best pass I could show you, uh, but it's real good because when we get there, it's gonna kind of take us into case on which we're, what we're gonna work out for today. So either way, partners on the back, <clears throat> we get a good penetration step in here. Um, if I turn my foot the direction that I'm gonna pass, it would be left if I'm coming this way here. Right foot in from the one to my left here. So once we get in, he kind of pinches or he doesn't. Either way, the first thing we have to fight for is the underhook. Underhook, underhook, underhook. So I need to get this in here. Sometimes they fight for it as well because they want to come out the back. If he does here, I cannot move forward until I get the underhook. Um, there's two little points here. When I do establish the underhook, it's oftentimes I'll grab this shoulder because it's a lever that I can grab and kind of keep this underhook here. This is fine at this point, but once we get down to where we're flattening them out, I need to make sure I come to post here and I don't continue to hold on to the shoulder. You're gonna wanna keep this grip because once you get it, you're like, ah, oh, this is, I'm gonna keep it. But if I keep this, it allows me to re-roll here. With that post, he can't take me over. And the other thing that we have to do once we get the underhook is get our head down to the mat. This eight pounds that we learned about in Jerry Maguire is what helps us here not get rolled over. So we've got the underhook, we've got the overhook. If he's pinching here, we can use our top leg to kick off. And we can sit through. I keep my head down until I get high here to come up, but we're going to work out a Kesa. So here we're in Kesa. For this drill, we're going to square up hip and shoulder here to bring us to the knee on belly. He's gonna frame, we thread the needle through and grab at the tricep. As we pull the shoulder, point to the ceiling, I'm basing out, coming down to my knees here. We're separating the elbow. I connect to my chest here. Switch the grip. And when we switch through, I wanna come deep to my elbow. I'm not doing just this forearm bit, so I wanna come all the way through here. And then I'm going to my wrist and his wrist. Some of you can, uh, you'll grab this wrist here on his, but you're grabbing up kind of by your forearm and your elbow. We want to be both on the wrist here. So you can finish the Kimura by bringing the arm past the center line here. And I'm going to use his body as the base. This helps me hop up to my toes quickly. If you got bad knees or whatever and need to step up, that's fine. But ideally, I'd like you to hop up here. We're going to pinch our knees and keep this connection at the chest as we sit down with the arm bar. Pinch, pulling in this this heel here, so everything's tight. Finish. Going back through. We're starting like we're knee slicing here. Get the underhook. Head down, overhook. Slide on through. Square so up. Hip, shoulder. Thread through. Face. Finish. Other way, get the head down, overhook, underhook. Thread through, grab the tricep. We're not going super deep, we're just going right in. So the forearm's on his rib cage here. All right, let's just run through this for about 10 minutes and uh, then we'll get to learning something. One, two, three.